So two weeks ago, I played Hearts away and I, I've tried to block a cross, tried to block one of the crosses into the box. I think it was roughly about half an hour into the match. I've kind of landed awkwardly on just on the way through the challenge. I've just kind of caught my knee on someone's boot and I can't remember seeing it. I just remember feeling just this pain in my knee and thought, oh no, like what have I done here? As I slid in, I've obviously brought, blocked the ball with my, my right foot, which was what obviously the only thing I was thinking about doing. And then just all my body weights went down my left knee and I've just caught the back of uh, whoever it was his boot. As soon as I'd done it, I knew straight away like, it was a bad one, but I wasn't sure how bad. I tried to walk it off, as soon as I got off the pitch, my knee had swollen right up and obviously there was a, a cut and it was, blood was pouring out of that as well. The pain, I was just thinking, geez, oh, because I was in two minds while even getting a stretcher and I was like, no, I'll try and walk. But, Obviously, when, it, when it's your knee, you, you think the worst. Hendo, the physio, and that was telling me about going for a, an X-ray and that straight away, which is obviously the main thing to double check everything was all good. Because I wasn't even sure if it was my knee, or if it was my quad, or whereabouts it was. So it was just a, a, a general pain. And then obviously, the scan results came back positive. There was no damage in my knee, and there was a, a grade two tear in my quad, which was a weird thing. I don't think I don't even think the, the physio had seen that, like f from impact. That was a bit of a AMSR, what is it called? I cracked my neck a winner there. <laughs> it settled a lot, settled right down and also I'm starting to be a, a lot more weight bearing than that way, the stuff I'm doing. I think you know it's bad when a tear in your quad or anything like that is good. It's, it's good news you can get, so obviously none of it's good news, but like being given the best case scenario is a, a torn quad and you're not really sure how long you're going to be out is I would take that any day than a, a, a bad knee injury because after the season I've had starting obviously coming into the team a lot, playing a lot more. Kinda, I'm, I'm just glad it's not a, a long term setback. And that side does your right foot and that side tells you how, like, how hard you're pushing with your left and I'm doing like 40% of my left leg which is obviously the, my sore one. Like, I wasn't aware I was doing it till I actually looked at it. And it's not a lot but see when you're cycling for 20 minutes. <laughs> The fact that I'm kind of subconsciously holding back, I'm dropping 10% without realising it. And it's good having that obviously so you can tell what you're doing. The past few days I've been doing a lot more bike work, kind of getting movement into my leg and that. And then today I've been doing a lot more like kind of body weight stuff, adding a bit more weights on, kind of strengthening the muscles around about it and hopefully back jogging, running soon. Well, you kind of give me my programme as well. I've got a handful of stuff there to get, to get on me for this. Just testing it a little bit today, see how it holds up, and then if it holds up and it's good and you feel good tomorrow, he's getting on the grass tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Hey, what is? Just need a little bit of strength work around it, you know, that quarter squat uh, stuff. That's good, I'm mostly stuff I'm doing. Uh, so I was doing the kind of testing stuff, and I was just kind of seeing how it was this morning, and it was all good. All good. Just a wee, just a wee area, but nothing like that major. I know how hard it is, I know how at times it can get lonely. I mean, I've been up here two weeks now and I'm dying to get back out in the pitch and there's a lot of boys that have obviously they've got a longer setback than me and it just shows you like there's a lot more behind just training and that as well. There's a lot of boys that, that can't even get to the training stage yet and it just shows you like how much you miss it as well when you're injured. No, I've still got like 20 minutes cross training on that today. And I'm gonna ice it as well. Obviously just kinda settle it down a bit after that as well. Still get treatment. I'm going to be getting the treatment after lunch as well. So. well. I think after extending my contract in January, I've kind of I've got a few targets in mind. Obviously, kind of personal targets that I want to achieve. And I think obviously getting wee setbacks here and there obviously doesn't help. But again, it kind of gets you hungrier to, to push even harder for the targets. So hopefully, back soon enough and aiming towards the targets I've got. How oh dare! <laughs> oh. My legs are like jelly, man. <laughs> that was a warm-up. 